What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. <laughs> Feels good to say that shit because I took a day or two off from Borderlands to go play some newer games, but I'm back and we got another episode, episode 5 of Hidden Chess. You might have missed a guide for newer Vault Hunters where I go through the game and I show you some of the hidden chests that a newer Vault Hunter might miss on their first way through the game. And while I'm doing that, I usually talk about something, uh, you know, either related to me or Borderlands. And today, we are talking about Borderlands. There is a patch released on Steam today. Now, before any of you console fans get really miffed about that, they use Steam as a launching point for patches to make sure things go fine. Because when you patch on console, it costs money. And when you patch on Steam, it doesn't. Because Steam is awesome like that. So, let's talk about what they patched in this patch. Alright, so, they stopped... The uh, Anarchy Stacks from losing randomly in multiplayer for the Mechromancer class, which is big because I hated when that was happening, especially when we were going to uh, farm some raid bosses. You don't want to lose your stacks on the way, and losing them for no reason at all is just uh, pretty shitty, so I'm glad that they patched that. Now, the next one I do want to point out is a big one. They fixed a bug, a quote-unquote bug causing TDR reloads to get amplified shield damage bonus for each remaining round in the clip. Which means that those of you guys that were solo in Hyperius by throwing the baby maker at them and letting that shit explode, that right there was a bug and it's fixed and it's not going to be happening no more. And talking about things that's not going to be happening anymore, they fixed the amplified damage from amplified shields is now divided among all projectiles fired from a single shot, and it doesn't affect every projectile in a single shot. So if you have something like uh, the conference call, and that shoots like 15 projectiles all at once, the B shield was amplified every single one of them and creating an overpowered weapon. So what they did was they made the amplified damage affect the entire shot, not just per projectile. And also, talking about adjustments to the B, the highly rumored nerf of the B is here. They increased the recharge delay, significantly increased recharge rate, and reduced the amplified damage. So those of you guys that have been running around, you know, solo and terramorphous within like, you know, 30, 40 seconds, that is not going to happen anymore. Uh, they're trying to make this game last longer, uh, pushing out the DLC a little bit earlier is uh, kind of ruining the schedule that they had for the game. So it looks like that they want to go back to where the bosses are actually hard to beat. Now speaking about bosses being hard to beat, they also up the health for Terramorphous, Wilhelm, and Blue, which means that everybody that was uh, just making a joke of these bosses that they put in the game, they're just going to be a little bit tougher. And without the conference called B-Shield combo, that's going to make things just a little bit tougher, especially for people farming. And speaking of that, included in this patch is a fix. For the flesh stick level exploit. So those of you guys right now on console that want level 50 characters without really having to put a lot of work into it, you better start making characters right now, grinding them out to 50 with flesh stick because they are patching that. And uh, speaking of patching things, I asked Randy uh, Pitchford on Twitter earlier. He didn't get back to me, but he got back to somebody else on the same issue. They are not patching the legendary drop rates. So that's right. They want these legendaries to be super hard to get. They want them to be really hard to farm, and they want these bosses to be tough. Guess what? Tough shit, Borderlands! <laughs> because we're going to be duping that shit all the time. Because I have a lot of subscribers that already have these guns. And if you do have these guns, hit me up on Twitter. And we're going to get a uh, whole legendary inventory together. And I'm going to be duping that out sometime later this week. So, let's recap. They increased the health of Terramorphous, Blue, and Wilhelm. They nerfed the B. They nerfed all amplified shields. They nerfed the way that the conference call works with the B. And they also fixed the Anarchy stack glitch, which is a, actually a good thing. But the rest of the stuff, I want to know, what do you guys think about these nerfs? Do you think that they should be nerfing things in a single player game? Or do you think they should leave it the way it was and let people play the game how they want to play it and farm how they want to farm? 
And as long as they're not bothering anybody else, you know, leave them to their own device. So leave that in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on this patch. My name's Jay. More than after kill. Go get the leveling up with Flesh Stick right now, console people. <laughs> so, like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.